Hey there, I'm Jason Davis, Planetarium Manager and Museum Astronomer here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. I've been working here since 2001, and my job is uh, all-encompassing. I've been into astronomy since I was a, a very, very young child, but I, I do remember vividly the first telescope my parents ever got for me, and it was awful, absolutely terrible. Couldn't focus on anything, not even the moon. And that set me back for a long time. I sort of gave up on astronomy and followed along with my favorite uncle, who was a neurobiologist at the University of Kentucky. Uh, so biology was my thing for a very, very long time. Uh, in high school, I was into marine biology, did an amazing program with the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Uh, but when I made it to college, I studied biology and, and I got extraordinarily bored after, after two years of college. So for fun, I decided to take Astronomy 100, taught by a, a very interesting fellow, Laird Thompson from the University of Illinois. And every single person in that class was snoring. Everybody was sleeping. Nobody was interested, except me. I was having the time of my life. So I walked over to the astronomy department, and I was introduced to another professor, Jim Kaler, uh, who's, who's really been a, a big part of my life, a big part of getting me here to Cleveland. Uh, he talked to me for hours, hours. And this is a, a world-famous astronomer. And that's when I decided to change my major. That's what I did. It cost me a year, so I had to, had to be in school for five years but it was, it was worth it, it was very much worth it. And then to Rochester for the internship, straight to Cleveland for this job I have now, which is one of the greatest things I could imagine doing with my life. So today we're in the Mueller Observatory here at the museum, and we're looking at a 117-year-old telescope that was built in the city of Cleveland. We are extremely lucky to have it here at home. It works as well today as it did back then, just a fantastic instrument. We'd like to invite everybody to come look through this telescope. It's open on Wednesday nights, from September through May, if the skies are clear. So it's a lot of ifs, but if you're here on a Wednesday night from September through May, we'll show you all sorts of things. So one of my jobs at the museum, in fact, my favorite job at the museum is to teach inside of the planetarium. And we have school groups from preschool all the way through college and beyond, not school groups, but people of all ages are in that planetarium. And it's, it's sort of my privilege to explain to them all this stuff we've been learning about the universe that we live in. And it is terribly difficult to comprehend these huge numbers, these huge spaces. But it is a lot of fun to talk about. And uh, the more you talk about it, the, the better you'll understand it. And you can look up into the night sky and, and have different thoughts. Like, how long has that light been traveling to run into my eyeball? Uh, it could be hundreds of years. It could be millions of years. And through the telescope, it could be tens of millions of years. And, and it's just been traveling through space for all this time, trying to communicate that. This is something I love doing. And it could be as simple as talking about why we have seasons on the planet Earth. It could be as complicated as talking about things like dark matter and dark energy, the, the biggest problems we're trying to solve in modern day cosmology today. It's, uh, it's a great, great part of my job. So in the Schaffron Planetarium, what we have for you is, is a dome, almost like we have here in the observatory, except larger. Uh, and a series of projectors that can put the night sky up. So in its most simple form, the planetarium is designed to show you the night sky. But the system we have, the system we installed not so long ago, is a fully digital system that includes, and this is going to sound strange, but it includes the universe. All of it. The planets in the solar system, the planets outside of our solar system, all the galaxies that have ever been discovered by human beings cosmic microwave background. Everything we've ever discovered is in that planetarium. We have the ability to fly through it as we wish. So if you're in one of our shows, one of our public shows, and you ask uh, to fly to Saturn, we can do that. We can fly to Saturn. We can check out some of its moons. Uh, if you want to fly to the edge of the observable universe and back, we can do that too. Because the planetarium lets us break the speed limit of the universe, the speed of light. Uh, if we couldn't do that, planetarium shows would be ridiculously long and not a lot of fun. But to be able to show folks everything we've ever seen in astronomy on the dome at a push of a button is one of, the, one of the greatest things we do in that room. And if you're interested in one of those live shows, you can catch those on the weekends. And you'll find times at the museum's website. During the week at 2.30, there's always a show, 2.30 in the afternoon. That's more of a movie with a live star show attached to the end of it. Wednesday nights, we've got the 8 p.m. show that we'd love to have you in for. And of course, if the skies are clear, a trip up to the observatory as well. 